Upper Kenyatta International Airport, where mystery surrounds a huge explosion that shocked parts of Terminal 1 last night. Police have been giving conflicting statements on the incident that has raised new fears about safety at that airport. Police are now investigating if there is a connection between that blast and a bullet ridden body found in a car hours after the incident. KTN senior crimes and investigations reporter Dennis Onsarigo begins our news coverage tonight. Let Riddle Motor Vehicle, a dead body and a contradictory police version of events has the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport family back in the news. The motor vehicle was spotted by police on the bait near Shauri Moyo area last night and its origin traced back to an incident at the international exit point hours earlier. Initial police investigations suggest that the vehicle failed to stop at the final exit barrier at the airport, prompting police officers to open fire. That was moments after loud blast at the passenger terminal number one. The blast from this restaurant saw passengers near Unit 1 Terminal scamper for safety. The loud bang was quickly dismissed by the National Police Service as a slight electrical malfunction. In fact, the police say the light bulb had exploded because of renovation works on some power lines. But KTN has established there was more to the light bulb, a litter bin and a police version of events. The Jomo Kenyatta International Airport police boss told KTN earlier in the day the explosion was caused by a light bulb that fell inside a litter bin. But management at the restaurant here says they do not keep litter bins inside the restaurant and they have not replaced any single bulb since last night. <laughs> A bomb bearing gadget that is normally used to detonate improvised explosive devices was removed from the scene of the blast and an improvised explosive device recovered from this motor vehicle, prompting police investigators to link the motor vehicle and its occupants to the blast at the airport. The body of a man of Somali origin was booked at the city mortuary as that of an unknown African male at 2.30 a.m. The man had suffered gunshot injuries in his stomach and was found lying in the backseat of what appeared to be the getaway car. He was booked at the mortuary as a murder victim. Police are yet to make any arrests, let alone identify the man in the car and the mission of the two others who abandoned the motor vehicle at Chauri Moyo. Police are relying on CCTV cameras to place faces on the men who appear to have been on a deadly mission. Denison Sarigo, KTN Prime.